I need to base the structure of the script on um, on how I'm going to blend it with the Tibetan. So Tashi's here with me, and we are we're, we're very good friends. We've been friends for a very long time, and so Tashi and I have stayed with each other over the years. And I've attended some of Tashi's um, Tibetan calligraphy classes. Um, I I sort of showed up at one just to <laughs> just to shock him. <laughs> And you did. <laughs> um, as Tashi's staying here, he came. He came to stay with us to see how we're doing. And I thought, you know what? Let's uh, let's try and fit some time in because um, you know I have quite a lot on on at the moment. So we we tried to set it up so that we could fit some time in and do some writing. Of course, once we started planning the writing, I said stop, stop, because what started to happen was something that I felt was necessary to share with you. So there is a shot with four cameras, of one facing us, of an overhead shot, Tashi writing and me writing. Now, so this was some earlier stuff from this morning, which, which is there. Uh, this was some earlier stuff from this morning. But what we're focusing on is this. So Tashi started writing and, and didn't finish, by the way. And didn't finish, by the way, because I jumped in really quickly. Because we wanted to test to see what was happening. Now, this Ume script, this Ume script is very different to the script that most people associate with Tibetan, which is Uchen script, which is uh, much more um, structured and it's more formal. I, I mean, you know, this is structured too, but the Uchen script is, is, is really like Roman capitals of Tibetan, really technical and, and this is more of a cursive structure to the script. Now, once he started writing this, I thought, oh, but this looks very much like Schwabacher. So we, I said, stop, 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 let's, let's do this in front of people and let them get a sense that, you know, the scripts do have some convergent evolution. If you're using a broad edge tool, that is a very big version of this. Just put this here. Um, and once you start see, using this kind of tool, there are shapes which will naturally occur, which are shared between the two different scripts. And the fact that this Ume script is more cursive, meaning that it has a real-time writing application. So remember, letters are based on the doctors, which is the stroke, number, and order. And um, I've added something else into this mix, and that is the pace at which the writing is done, because if the script is written too slowly, then you're, you're not really writing, you're more you're, you're sort of more drawing than you are writing because it shouldn't take that long to make those strokes. And so by, by looking at the, the stroke number and order and the pace of the writing, you should be able to find a script that is, um, that is conversant with both this and with this. So, I'm going to do a little bit of writing. Tashi's going to do a little bit of writing as well. We're going to try and stay in the middle here. That's an automatic five. So we're just going to do this from a demonstration point of view. I'm going to use a poster name, and this is a number 10. So you can see that they are very different in the way they look. That's much more rounded. We're just using some Pelican 4001 ink. So you see my page is at an angle, so the desk is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the chair so that I am, I can write at a perpendicular angle to the horizontal lines. So that's Fraktur, which is the basis for uh, Schwabacher, and Schwabacher is shorter, so it's at three. That's one, two, three. So I've done this Fraktur at five. You can see the nibbits there. And it's squatter. And immediately you start to see the similarities between the Ume script 
these shapes and the Schwabacher shapes. Of course, once Tashi wrote that letter, I thought, oh, but it looks just like a T. So immediately you can see that there's a confluence between these two scripts, some divergent, some convergent evolution. And from that kind of shape, you can start to extrapolate how the letters would work together. So I'm going to write some Schwabacher whilst Tashi is doing some Ume script. Um, and so I have a little trick that I use. One, to gauge the width of the nib. Two and three. Four, five, and six. It's starting to look like a batard, which would be more this. Very squat. Um, so I, I need to base the structure of the script on um, on how I'm going to blend it with the Tibetan. I'm still here, I'm still here. How oh, I'm going to blend it with the Tibetan. Um, so I, I, I'm going to go down a size because we're not really going to write this piece this big. We are going to work a little bit smaller. So now let's look at how they work together. So that looks like an O. So we could quite easily get one. Two, three, four. So this is very much like semi quadrata. Now we're not using silk in the bottles. That's generally something you find in Arabic. So you'd get this in semi quadrata. Let's overlap it and see what will happen. One, one and two and three and four and five and six so that that would be your your approximation this paper is too smooth for this for so much ink there's your approximation so uh, I would probably not use this shape. I would probably go to this shape because it it starts to work better as a as a, a sort of intermediate script. Um, let me grab this. So there's some great possibilities here. That's like a map. So yours comes out slightly differently. You do this. Straight down. Lift to the bottom edge. Up to the bottom edge. Up, that's it. So much easier with a brush. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry that the pens are not available in India. That's not really my fault. Um, I would suggest you contact uh, Robson and try and order them and get them sent to you in India. Um, there are there are Indian equivalents. Yes. Um, uh, there are tons of Indian equivalents you can get, which are um, made with what's it called bamboo. Uh, or you, you can get similar tools from Pat Pratik Pen. Um, I'm sure Mohammed sends stuff to India, so and I think he might have a distributor there. 
So I would suggest you contact Pratik Pen and see if they can help you out there. Um, I have a question here if there's, uh, Sir, is there any tutorials on Tibetan scripts? There is at the moment with Wisdom Publications um, online uh, uh, lessons you can take. Uh, but that's for the Uchen script, this is different from the Ume script. There's no tutorials at the moment on the Ume script, but that will come. All right. 